Hi, this is Monica Burns with Moroli Design Services. This is a tutorial on how to download a comp image from Deposit Photos and how to use the folders uh, to your advantage in terms of finding images that you like that you're not particularly sure will work for you and um, basically utilize the favorites and comp uh, features within Deposit Photos website so that you don't download images that you wind up not using at all and wasting your credits. So let's get started. When you're searching for something for a project that you're getting ready to do and you're either going to be the one creating the graphic itself or you're going to be giving an image to your designer, you're obviously going to want to use a particular search feature. I'm going to use Christmas background people and a lot of times you're going to get something really broad you can also use the advanced search items over here on the left you can point out that say you want male and female any ethnicity um, say you want to use adult uh, let's actually go with young adult and you can select from editorial or exclude editorial. Always use exclude editorial because you are not going to actually be able to use an editorial photograph for any kind of promo. So excluding it means you don't have to verify that it's a um, editorial only image. Now we're scrolling down and because I work with romance authors for the uh, majority of my time, I'm going to try and find something uh, that's Christmassy with a couple and I'm actually looking for something that's uh, mixed ethnicity and I'm not finding it so because I'm not finding what I want I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna add ethnic see if that'll give me something a little different no not really yeah here we go I like those I like this couple so when you click on the actual image that you like, it's going to pop up uh, this particular pop-up box. You can do several different things. You can find similar images using the same model, the same series, categories, um, actual file information. So in this pop-up box, you're going to find um, the ability to find similar images uh, of couples, the same model, or actually images with this, one of the same models or with both the same models. Um, you can look and I have series. I think the same series does not necessarily mean this particular couple. It might mean that the photographer used different couples um, at the same session. You have categories that you can actually click on to that are going to take you completely away from this particular image. With this image, you have a couple of different options, actually four. There are three options that you, as an author, wanting to use a particular image to create your own graphic. There are three options that you have. The best one is to use your favorites, to download a comp, or to select a particular image size that you want to actually download. Using the favorites is one of my favorite things to do. If I click on the favorite button there, and I look at my favorites, you'll see that it's gone into my Christmas folder. Sometimes I'll put this particular image in the wrong folder, and so all I have to do is click on it and click Move and select it for couples and move the file. And as you can see, it's removed it from the Christmas folder. And I'll scroll down to make sure it's in the couples folder. And as you can see, it's been moved there. If I want, I can also copy it to the Christmas folder just so I have it in both places so that I don't miss something. And I click copy. And then when I go to the Christmas folder to look for images, it's right here where I need it to be. So let's get back to, I'm going to close this out. You can also use your down um, arrow keys up or down to make this smaller. When you click on the people icon, you can 
click on the shared settings. You can choose to copy the link, click the social media link. Sometimes clicking on the link is easier. Uh, it saves you typing out the actual email address of the individual. And you can have your choice of viewing it or editing it. If you're going to share it with your designer, it's probably best to let them edit it so they can add images that they think that you might want or that they can download um, the comp. I think it will be easier for them to actually download. You have the ability to create new folders. You can add it to the cart. You can go back to your folders. So you have a variety of different looks for your folders. And sometimes it's easier to show this in the grid so that you can scroll down before you save anything to a folder. So what you're looking for falls into the actual specific topic that you are doing your search on. So I'm looking for Christmas. I'm going to put it back on my Christmas folder and I'm going to close down my folder and I'm going to keep on looking to see if there's something else that I can find. Ooh, I'm looking for Christmas type of images, but I happen to like this couple. So what I can do is I can click add to favorites and what will happen, it's going to be added to the Christmas list here, but I can go back into Christmas and move this image into my couples folder. But this way I can continue looking for what I want and I'm able to not have to change folders. Keep going on your next page. If you're looking for something in particular on a particular couple, the white background is going to work best for your designer because it's much easier to isolate the couple and place them on a different background. You can still isolate this from the background, but using the white background, it's just easier to remove um, the couple and pull them out to use on a different background. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm just going to select Christmas background. I'm also going to do we do indoor here in my search features and I'm going to exclude people and I'm going to make sure that I exclude editorial and I saw this and actually this one is actually already saved from a previous search that I did so that's already in my folder and when I see that I know that I can go take a look in the folder Now that I've added a, a slew of images to um, my Christmas photo album or folder, I go back in and I'll take a look at the items that aren't necessarily specific to the holidays. Mainly they were couples that I selected that I clicked on and, and really enjoyed. This one I'm probably going to do just a copy um, because they are Christmas. And I'm going to move these couples. And then I'm also going to copy these couples because I can use them later on. And I will keep them in the actual Christmas folder, but I'll copy them into the couples folder and I'm going to click on the copy section here so this way if I wind up looking in my Christmas folder I'm able to decide if I want to extract them or and place them on a different background um, it gives me several options let me go back up here because I do like this one particular image when you click on the actual image you have several different options this was actually saved already to a folder and you'll see the little star here you'll notice that there's a little star on the one that I'm not pointing to and when you point to it it has the favorite button marked I want to actually take a look at this image in a mock-up because credits cost you money it's always best to use a comp image because when you do a mock-up, you might find that the image itself is just not going to work great for the mock-up. I'm just going to save it in a particular folder. If I decide that I want to use this particular image, I go ahead and I download it in the size that I want. 
Extra large is usually a great size for resolution purposes. The larger the size, the easier it is to downsize it and even upsize it a little bit without too much uh, distortion in the resolution. And then I'll sometimes I'll go through my list of actual backgrounds or images that I've already saved just to make sure that there might not be something else. So I now have at this point two comp images that when I go into my Photoshop, I can open up the actual images that I downloaded for comp purposes and I can transfer them over to my particular template that I'm using and see how they fit. What happens if I stretch it out a little bit? Is it going to distort the actual image? Um, as you can see here, it's watermarked. Obviously, you just don't want to use a watermark one. Not only does it show that it's a copyright violation, but it just doesn't look great. That is all there is to setting up your folders and finding images that work for your actual final graphic. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Contact me via Maroli Design Services at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.